DJ Pro has so many different music sources to choose from, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the music sources in DJ Pro for the Mac and not for the iPad. So here we are in the DJ Pro software. So over here to the left is going to be all of our music sources. Over here at the top, this is our playlist. So your crates, if you're used to using other DJ software, playlist, collections, whatever you want to call it. This is where you're gonna create and organize your playlist, which I believe is the most important part of DJing. So with this plus button, you could add a playlist, add a smart playlist, or add a playlist folder and start creating your playlist. I recommend if you get, if you're booked for a gig in a month, you start creating your playlist right now. And if you create a good playlist, it'll make DJing a lot more fun and the crowd will enjoy it more. Next is going to be Apple Music. This was one of the streaming services that people have been asking for for a while and it finally got released not that long ago. So you could DJ with millions of songs from Apple Music streaming. So if you already have a subscription or you could sign up to get two months for free and this is a great music streaming service. Next is going to be this one. This is the music that's actually on your device. So it, whatever music is on your mac or if you have a usb or something plugged in this is the music that you're going to see next is the music that dj gives us so if you don't have any of your own music or a streaming service you could still dj with all of these songs that that they give us and they do add new artists and labels and songs with the update and the next one is going to be title if you're going to pay for one of these streaming services and you like to use in DJ Pro, I personally would say to use Tidal because you could DJ with music videos and it's really easy to connect your, your MacBook into a TV or a projector to mix these music videos. And Tidal also, to me, is this closest to Spotify and we can't use Spotify anymore. But it is expensive. It is going to be $19 a month. To It is going to be more expensive but you can use Neural Mix when you are DJing with Tidal. Next is going to be SoundCloud, another great streaming service. Millions of songs, great streaming service. Here we got Beatport, got to be similar again. And then we have BeatSource, which is another which is another streaming service, which is great for DJing with millions of songs. So I recommend looking into each of these streaming services and choosing which one works for you. Next, we have our files. So these are songs that are in the files of your device. Next are videos. These are videos. So DJ Pro, if we go up here and switch modes into video mode, has a really good video mode where you can mix videos, visualizers, and music videos. So you could take videos, have your videos on your device, and you could, and you could use these videos while you're DJing. And then next, we have the option to get rid of these. So like I said, choose a streaming service. It doesn't really make sense to have multiple streaming services. So for me, I don't use Apple Music. I don't use local music. I don't really use the DJ music. I don't use SoundCloud. I don't use this. I don't use that. I don't use my own videos. So now when I look at this tab, I don't have all the stuff that I don't use. I only have Tidal, which is the streaming service that I do use. So if you guys want to see my full tutorial on this amazing software for the Mac, check out this video over here. Thank you.